All right. Check it out. Our next performer is coming to the stage. Cracky, you ready to do some time? Uh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, from Kentucky, man. Kentucky in the house. First Kentucky on the Greg Dean Network. It is Crack to Chatter! Thank you. Thank you. What's going on, everybody? My actual name is uh, Jerry, and it's great to be here. Forgive me, because this is the first time I've ever done this. And what I mean is um, doing stand-up in a Zoom call. For a second, I felt like I was part of an election integrity meeting. <laughs> now, I will say this. If there are any thumbs down on this video at the end, I will request an audit and a signature verification. <laughs> now, a little bit about me. I am 35 years old and a father. Before you ask, I have no idea. I don't know if you can tell my other camera died before we started, but this eye stays closed. I have no idea why it does that. Um, as far as I know, it may have been uh, deemed non-essential. <laughs> it is difficult growing up with uh, an eye like that because when, uh, for example, if we're taking pictures and there's a flash, my eye closes completely, which doesn't sound bad unless you're being questioned at grandma's funeral while you're hugging your grieving grandfather while you look like you're winking at everybody <laughs> <laughs> um, i was born in a place called marion ohio if you don't know how to spell marion it is oh this would be perfect for tony if it if you don't know how to spell marion it is h-e-r-o-i-n <laughs> if you asked me if marion had a drug problem i would be forced to nod at you <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you got that joke. I tried that joke in Kentucky and they started yelling, what's wrong with a woman who admires her or who is admired for her achievements? <laughs> Made me wonder how many heroines they think are in jail. <laughs> I feel like saying no, I mean heroin, but I don't because I know exactly what they'll say. That's the exact same thing I said is heroin. It's kind of a what's on first and who nodded off on a needle in their arm kind of thing. <laughs> I am a fat guy which I didn't realize until recently. I remember the exact moment when I realized I was fat. I was driving down the road having a great day. Next thing I know, I hit a speed bump. And all I felt was my chest do this right here. <laughs> it's a slow motion ego killer. For the longest time, I had these manly pecs and thought I was in great shape. And now they just went weightless for two seconds. <laughs> Now, it wasn't even the weightless thing that bothered me. It was that the bounce when they came back down. That's what killed me. That's what immediately told me I have breasts now. <laughs> now, I don't know how out of Tony and all and uh, Kara and all them, how do you guys have kids or pets? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Both. Right. both. <laughs> See, I have both. And Kevin, I don't know. You can back me up on this. It gets confusing sometimes. You know, I come home, I got to figure out who crapped in the hallway. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I, figured, I figured out a full-fledged way to do this, too. If you come home and there is poop in the pull-up, it was the dog. <laughs> if there is poop everywhere but the pull-up, it was a toddler. <laughs> For example, if my daughter was Michelangelo and she was a scat artist, then my hallway would be her Sistine Chapel. <laughs> now I've, I've never gotten into uh, politics too much but did you see where uh, former President Trump gave uh, Tiger Woods that medal a lot of people told me that they, um, they didn't understand why he would give them a medal it didn't make sense to them and to me it made perfect sense if you really break it down and think about it you know, number one they're both rich number two they both love golf number three one talked about grabbing pussy and the other one did <laughs> but that's my time. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Right, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, crack a chatter. Mm -hmm.